Hello, my name is Luke Birch, and I do this of my own free will. It's a question as old as time, or at least as old as 1988. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie, or is it not? Well, I'm here to answer this question once and for all, and I'm guessing Based on the shirt I'm wearing, you can figure out where I stand. It is indeed not a Christmas movie, and I'm here to lay out my reasons for coming to this objectively factual conclusion. I have no quarrel or shame in admitting that until very recently, I used to fall on the other side of this debate and always believed I would die on the hill defending its status as a Christmas movie. But I also cannot deny clear evidence. And when a compelling argument is made and put forward, I must accept that my views must change. I would like to thank Samantha Williams of the Grossi Discord for making this case to me that I now hope to make to you. Okay, so let's look at some movies that raise no controversy as to their status as Christmas movies. Let's, okay, Home Alone, It's a Wonderful Life, and a 1938 adaptation of A Christmas Carol. Aside from all being clear examples of Christmas movies, they all have something else in common. All three had their global release dates in the winter, during the festive period, being November 16th, December 16th, and January 7th, respectively. As a result, one would imagine that if Die Hard were a Christmas movie, it too would have a festive release date at some time in the winter. One of, if not, the last dates that would come to my mind when thinking of that time of year would be July the 15th, which, lo and behold, was the global release date for Die Hard in the dead centre of summer 1988. It's not even the first Die Hard movie that suffers from this issue. Die Hard is, at the end of the day, a film franchise. And three of the five films having absolutely no debate as to their lack of Christmas nature. Only one of the five, A Good Day to Die Hard, being released in the winter months. And even then, it isn't one of the two where there is room for debate. The case for the July 4th release of Die Hard 2 obviously also takes a hit from this, since I've seen just as many pro-Christmas arguments for the second Die Hard as I have the first. One of the most popular arguments in favour of its status as a Christmas movie is the setting taking place on Christmas Eve. While on paper this may seem compelling, it has a couple fatal flaws. While I'm sure there are some I have yet to meet anyone who has suggested 
that The Godfather is a Christmas movie. Despite a sizable portion of that movie taking place at Christmas. Same can be said for Edward Scissorhand, Castaway, and Tangerine. In order to remain consistent, I feel it is important to either make the case for all or none to be festive films. And since I cannot in good faith make the case for The Godfather and Castaway in particular, then that leads me to the conclusion that none of them are. None of the four I mentioned, The Godfather, Castaway, Edward Scissorhand, Tangerine, deserve special treatment nor get special treatment. So neither does Die Hard, at least with me. Nothing based on the plot of the film mandates the party taking place at Nakatomi Plaza be a Christmas party. While it makes sense that John McClane is returning to his family for Christmas, there is nothing key to the plot that says it can't be a New Year party, a Thanksgiving party, or even a party to celebrate the opening of the plaza itself, which, at least in my opinion, would all also be reasonable reasons for McLean to return and support his estranged family in L.A. If you can't easily, th if you can easily throw any holiday or even non holiday events, such as the opening I previously mentioned, then there is no way that merely taking place at Christmas can make this a Christmas movie. If you don't want to take my word for it, fine. Would you be willing to take someone else's word for it? Someone like, I don't know, Bruce Willis? During his Comedy Central roast in 2018, Willis unprompted and without any reason to do so, closed his entire set and show, giving his views on the matter. And what do you know? He agrees with me. It is but a Bruce Willis movie. I don't want this to come off as some anti-die-hard tirade, as I loved the movie when I was wrong about it, claiming it was a Christmas movie, and I continue to love it just as much now that I accept it's not. I just wanted to come on here and attempt in my own small way to settle this 36-year-old debate once and for all so that we can all just enjoy the movie for what it is and not try and debate what it is not. On three, one, two, three, Die Hard is not and has never been a Christmas movie. yippee ki motherfuckers. Goodbye and good night.